Okay, it's been a while since I've done a video. I'm doing one today, unless my hands aren't on my steering wheel. <laughs> this is uh, the latest addition to my family vehicles. I have my F-250 that I upgraded to from my EcoDiesel. And I also have my uh, Sprinter still, but we're probably going to sell that. It's got a few issues going on, and uh, so once they have start, start having problems, they're expensive to maintain and repair. So, uh, yeah, we're probably going to sell that, but we will end up getting something uh, similar size because we like the bigger vehicles. I had a 2017 Chevy Bolt, the all-electric vehicle from Chevy. I loved it, but my wife and I kept going back and forth because we wanted a runaround vehicle that would fit our entire family. We have seven children and uh, the Bolt was a five-seater. So this is our uh, Pacifica hybrid. It is the plug-in. You can see it has seven seats. We got seat covers on the back because we have children and these are lighter color seats. Uh, I, this is the Hybrid Limited, so it has the adaptive cruise control and the fancier buttons there, uh, lane keep assist, all that stuff. I have uh, picked up the uh, uh, Open Pilot, comma three, and I'm testing it right now on a trip to Ogden, Utah, about 100 miles, 70 miles from my house, 140, 150 miles round trip. And uh, right now it's driving. I'm not touching the pedals. I'm not touching the steering wheel. It is driving. <laughs> I ordered a longer network cable for the for it. You can see this one's hanging down. That one's too short. Um, it needs to be six inches longer and it'd be fine. But uh, I ordered a, a one that's a foot longer and uh, I'll install that when it comes. It probably came today. But anyway, I figured I'd do a quick, up, quick update. I love this vehicle. Um, we get great fuel economy in it. Um, this is really cool that it's driving itself right now. I love that. Um, the Comma 3 is pretty awesome so far. I never had the Comma 2. I have a couple of brothers that have Teslas and uh, they both enjoy driving in this. I took them both for a ride. Uh, they say it's smoother than Tesla, but Tesla is more advanced and some things Tesla can change lanes on its own. It can take exits on its own and uh, open pilots not quite there yet i know they're working on stuff and then some of the latest betas i've seen online it will recognize stop signs and and stop lights and and different things like that so they are working on that but uh, i really like how they're doing it. Um, it as opposed to what tesla does they they program in all these different things for it to recognize different signs pedestrians trucks trailers all this stuff what open pilot does is they have it uh, built upon AI, so it's it's uh, AI learning and, and just teaches itself. It doesn't recognize individual sub subjects per se. It recognizes them as just objects that it needs to avoid or, or to figure out, and it uses uh, in-depth deep learning to, to figure all that out. And uh, it, so far in my opinion, I think it makes for a little bit smoother drive. Um, it stays really good in the lanes, it turns really good. Um, I'm very happy with it and the fact that I can put it on this van is, is really awesome. So anyway, yeah, that's a little bit different side uh, than the diesel stuff I usually share. I plan on doing some more videos with my F-250. I have two different brand tunes. I've ran three different tunes on it total. Um, I have two different brands of uh, Switch on the Fly tunes and I will do some comparisons of those um, I, I might mix and match those too. I, I really like the transmission tune on one and then the other one gets a little bit better fuel economy So I might swap those uh, The transmission tune over to the one that gets better fuel economy. I don't know. I need to do more testing But anyway, there's a quick update for you. There's uh, my 2018 Chrysler Pacifica hybrid limited plug-in and It's it's awesome and with the open pilot you can see it's pretty stress-free. Just got my hands down um, it has a camera facing the inside. The little icon right here um, is watching my face and telling me like, uh, or it's detecting my face and if I am not paying attention, it'll alert me. And if, I, if I'm really not paying attention, the alarm will go off and then it'll eventually have me take over. So um, it's, it's pretty safe the way they've done it. Um, I don't have to touch the steering wheel like Tesla does which I really like. My brothers like that too, that have Teslas. Um, 
also on lanes or roads that don't have lanes it stays on the right side like it should tesla tends to go in the middle of the road and that's one thing they both noticed was better um, and then taking corners and stuff open pilot was just smoother um, on that too so anyway uh, i will finish up my trip i appreciate you watching and uh, sorry it's been so long since i've done a video but here's a quick Ooh, update for you so I just wanted to show you what it does when it, it notices you're not paying attention. So I was looking down at this, at my screen, and it gave me a warning. So right there, see? <laughs> I don't know if you saw that message. It says, keep eyes on road, distracted driving detected. So it is good at making sure you're paying attention and ready to take control if you need to, which is awesome. Yeah, it's not uh, set it and fall asleep you actually have to be paying attention to it. But anyway, again, there's my Pacifica Hybrid. My life, my wife and I really love it. My life, my wife is my life. But yeah, we really love it. And our kids like it, especially my son. He's a big Tesla fan, but he was pretty excited when we got this set up. So I'm glad he, he liked it. But anyway, thought I'd show you that error real quick.